Stop what you're doing. That hummus you're eating might not actually be hummus. Is it made of chickpeas, tahini, garlic, olive oil, lemon, salt, and pepper? Yes? Then it's definitely hummus. But hummus manufacturer Sabra says anything other than that just ain't hummus. The company filed a petition with the Food and Drug Administration calling for the agency to establish a standard of identity for hummus in the U.S., including which ingredients and how much of each a product must contain to be called hummus. The marketing of a hummus product made from legumes other than chickpeas is akin to the marketing of guacamole made with fruit other than avocados. That would stop competitors such as Eat Well Embrace Life from marketing dips with black beans, lentils, edamame, or any other legume as hummus. The FDA has established similar definitions for products ranging from ketchup to peanut butter and white chocolate. The petition claims Sabra wants to protect the purity of hummus in the marketplace, which a Slate writer calls out as a teensy bit hypocritical, considering the brand sells no less than 14 flavors of hummus, including pesto, spinach, and artichoke, and jalapeno, none of which are really pure hummus. According to its director of marketing, Sabra is currently the hummus leader, controlling 65% of the market. That market is worth more than $600 million in sales each year. And according to Business Week, hummus is just an 18% household penetration in the U.S., so there's plenty of room to grow. For Newsy, I'm Adam Fault.